Since 2017, Israeli archaeologists have surveyed the ravines and caves of the Judean desert. The Israel Antiquities Authority put together the four-year project to prevent robbers from looting priceless artifacts. Work included rappelling more than 200 feet down to one of the main caves. Inside, the team dug and sifted soil not touched for nearly two millennia. Their work uncovered biblical treasures, including pieces of scrolls nearly 2,000 years old. Wow. wow! Then they made the precarious trek up the cliffs, taking the treasures to the Israel Museum. It's a great day. Actually, it's a, it's a day where we, we can show our, uh, our work in the last four years in the desert. It's Sisyphic work, but you can see that we found many significant artifacts and items that belong to the state uh, of Israel. Perhaps the most important finds are these scrolls from the book of Zechariah and Nahum. These are the first biblical scrolls found in the Judean desert in nearly 60 years. The Jews who fled the Romans in 70 AD brought this scroll to the cave. They took with them only what was most important to them and what was essential for surviving, and this is one of the things that they took. And this tells us something about how strong their belief was. Um, and one could always assume that they read the words of the prophets here and found some sort of a consolation during their troubled times. The recovered portion of the scroll comes from the book of Zechariah that says, These are the things you are to do. Speak the truth to one another. Render true and perfect justice in your gates. And do not contrive evil against one another. And do not love perjury, because all those are things that I hate declares the Lord. It was also very striking to find these specific verses. I read it a bit as a kind of a message that is, uh, transcends time. The team also uncovered the 6,000-year-old body of a child and found an intact basket that they sent for carbon dating. When the result came back, we were amazed. It is 10,500 years old. It's so unique. It's the only example that looks like this from that time in Israel and maybe in the world. The finds shed light on Jewish history. These coins from the Bar Kokhba revolt against the Romans carry inscriptions that refer to the times of King David and King Solomon. These coins are from the time of Jerusalem's destruction in 70 AD. It's the Jewish people's story. Wow. The scrolls that, that we found, the fugitives, the coins, the weapons, from the rebellions, but it's not only the story of the Jewish people, the story of the humankind. Back in the Judean desert, archaeologists say there are still hundreds of caves left to explore, with the promise of finding more biblical scrolls and historic artifacts. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, the Israel Museum, Jerusalem.